When you're brand new to Go High Level, one of the hardest things to figure out is what is it that you should offer small businesses. So that's why I'm making this video. If I was a brand new beginner to Go High Level and I had zero clients, this is what I would do. Okay, so there's two levels to this. Level one is the newer unestablished businesses. For example, if I come into Google Maps and I just type in plumbing around me, you can see that the first ones that pop up have 100 reviews, 300 reviews. These are the more established businesses that I'm talking about. But if we scroll down here and keep going down, we're gonna see some more that have only nine reviews. Um, this one only has eight reviews. This one has some more 17. But you can see generally what I'm talking about, like this one, only five reviews, and it doesn't even have a website established. That would be a very new business, and this would qualify for a level one offer. So what is the level one offer? Well, the core offer I would say you should start with is more five-star Google reviews. This is something that business owners already understand the importance of, so it's really easy to talk about it in a message or in a meeting with them. And it's something that a lot of people just don't really know exactly how to get more of. So if you can come in with a software that has automations and it has reviews AI, through Go High Level, it immediately puts you in an advantage to be able to offer these people something valuable that they want. I think you should start with this offer. The second thing you could also do, a secondary offer, would be missed call text back. So for example, if we go back into our example with plumbers around here, and we see a few that don't have a lot of reviews, um, some of them may not even answer the phone. So if I was to call this person right here, and let's say they didn't answer, which that is more common than you would think, then immediately you have something to tell them that you could add for value. You could say, hey, you know, I actually called you, didn't get an answer. I actually have an automated service that can help you make sure that whenever somebody calls you, if you miss it, it'll send them an automatic text message and that way nobody's gonna slip through the cracks and you're not gonna lose any more business to missed calls. And this can be really helpful, especially for trade services like something like plumbing, electrical. They're maybe doing a job and it's a one man business or something like, you know, they're working and they don't always have the ability to answer their phone when these leads are coming in. So this is what I would do if I was a beginner. I got these two offers here. I also have a couple of sample scripts here that you could use when you're doing your outreach and trying to get your first clients. So if you are a first timer and you don't have any clients at all, I would recommend something kind of like this. This is very similar to what I did when I was starting out. You could say, hi, business owner's first name. My name is blank and I'm, and then you wanna insert your unfair advantage here. So for me, I was working with ketamine clinics. And so my unfair advantage was that I am an upcoming medical student and I already have this experience in the medical field. I can speak the language. So I said, you know, I'm an upcoming medical student with marketing experience, okay? But you could, maybe you've been working in plumbing. Maybe you have a, you know, a family member who's a plumber and you know about it, something like that. You, you just wanna insert your unfair advantage there, okay? And you could say, I've been conducting market research on the plumbing niche or whatever the niche is, and would love to share what I've learned so far in exchange for some general information about your industry. Let me know if you're interested. Something like that is very simple and it's a better way to get your foot in the door than immediately pitching them and saying, hey, I can get you more five-star reviews because they hear that kind of stuff all the time. But if you're doing something like kind of a soft offer, like just saying, hey, I've been doing market research, I'm happy to share what I've learned so far, like some tips, that can be a much better way to get your foot in the door and at least just start getting on some calls and talking to people. Once you have gotten your first client already, maybe if you have a couple case studies, then you could do something like this. Hi, business owner, my name is Connor and enter your unfair advantage here. I notice you only have blank reviews on Google. I recently helped blank, another business, the other business you've worked with, get blank more five-star reviews on Google in only, you know, maybe two or three months or whatever it was. I'd love to help you get the same results. Would you be interested in that? This is a much better offer because now people know that you've actually done something and you just have the credibility. So it just makes you a stronger pitch. However, I will say that even something like this, people get these kinds of messages all the time. So you might have to modify this a little bit if you're not getting traction. Okay, let's move on to level two. So level two over here is for more established business. Now we're talking about businesses, if we scroll up here, maybe the ones that have a couple hundred of views, the ones that are a little more solid, like maybe this one that has 98 reviews, that's pretty good. 500, that would definitely be more established. That seems like they've got a lot going on. If we were to visit their website, I bet it would look pretty solid. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I would say more established as you can tell. So with these types of clients, 
the type of thing that you really want to offer them is just more appointments okay this is something that everybody wants and i would think this is one of the best things you can offer with the go high level software and it's because of this secondary offer that you can also add in there which is automations go high level has so many tools so many features you can check out my other video going through what you can do with go high level and because of all of these features it really allows you as an agency owner to provide a lot of value to small businesses who have their hands full with all this other stuff that they can't really keep track of following up with leads and doing all those types of things. So I just wanna show you this really quick in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, just something you could really quickly show somebody on a sales call or like in a outreach or something is you could add a little screenshot of one of your automation screens, which looks something like this. And you're gonna have all of these branches, all this follow up here. You could even add in a screenshot of the pipeline over here and show how you're able to manage all the leads. And something like that is pretty simple and a really good way to show how you're legit. You can actually handle these leads. You've done it before and you're really going to help them be able to get more appointments. So that's something I've done before on some on some calls with clients and showing them what I've got. And it really establishes you with some credibility in addition to those reviews that you've already had from other clients. All right, so for the first timer pitch here, this is actually just the exact same as what I had before. You're really just asking them if you can share some tips and then you're gonna let ask them to let you know if they're interested. Again, this is just a really good foot in the door way to, to get started. You're not really jumping right out of the gate and trying to pitch all these things because usually people don't care about that kind of stuff and they just think it's kind of annoying. Uh, so something a little bit softer like this can be better. Once you have a couple of case studies, do something like this. Hello, business owner. My name is Connor and I'm insert your unfair advantage. I recently helped insert the other business you worked with get blank more appointments in only blank months. So again, very similar format as what we had above, just you know, swapping out appointments for reviews. Uh, I'd love to help you get similar results. Would you be interested in that? So as you can see guys, it's pretty much the same idea as level one. It's just that we're now going for more established businesses and really trying to tailor the offer around more appointments because they've already kind of figured out how to get reviews and some of the other things that you might be able to help less established businesses with in level one. So now you might be wondering, how do I choose the pricing of my services? And I've reserved that for last. And this is a little controversial, but I'm gonna say when you're just starting, do it for free. Now, I might be getting a little flack for this because everyone always says, charge $1,000 up front, right? And you can certainly do that. And I tried for about a month and I was not able to get any traction. And so I ended up you know, dropping my price down to $500 a month and I was able to get some clients at $500 a month. And so I didn't actually work for free. But if I hadn't been able to get those first clients for a little bit longer, I would have done it for free for sure because this is one of the best ways for you to get an advantage if you have no experience or credibility you need to differentiate yourself in some way and pricing is a good way to do that if you have no experience and you're trying to charge a thousand to two thousand dollars a month for marketing services you're going to have to really do a good job at selling people that you know what you're doing because people aren't usually just going to hand that over if you have no idea what you're doing but don't worry because seriously you can work for free for about a month and then after a month or two you'll have a testimonial and that is so important having that review to build your credibility will make it so much easier to get the next client and then the next and the next and it really can snowball after that it's just getting that first one that is very difficult so i this is kind of crazy, but I would say seriously, just do it for free for that first one. And another reason why this is a good idea is because you can sell them on other services later. So if you're starting with a level one business who you're only helping them do a Google review campaign for a few months, and then you end up helping them like get 10 or 20 more five star reviews, then after that, you can be like, hey, I actually also know how to do Facebook ads. Maybe I could help you boost your number of appointments through Facebook ads. And you can add on a couple hundred dollars a month for that. There's all these other services you could add on. You could even get them integrated as a user on your software over here. And then they could manage the leads themselves. And that's another thing you could tack on there is and now we're getting more into SaaS stuff, which I'll go into more detail on that on another video. But, but the idea here is that you can upsell them on other things. And really, you're just trying to get that review to build credibility up front. If you're nervous about jumping into go high level and starting your own agency, I promise I understand the worry but it is so much better once you actually just start. If you use the link down in the description to get signed up for Go High Level, I will jump on a one-on-one -on -one onboarding Zoom with you to help you get set up with all your settings, everything you need to know, so that you can hit the ground running with your agency. All right, guys, that's all I've got today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.